today we're gonna be looking at the most evil parent punishments and how many parents actually do these punishments. Starting off with one in 1.5 parents, wait, 1.5 parents? Interrupt you when speaking. Show your kid the minimum level of respect and listen to what they have to say. Oh, they're just giving us like a little, little spiel on what the parents need to do to improve. I honestly feel like it's probably the other way around though. Like I feel like most kids interrupt their parents rather than their parents interrupting them. One in two parents, okay. So we got four parents here. One of them on each side does this embarrasses you in front of your crush. So 50% of the parents do that. Good math, Luke. Thanks for letting everyone know. One in three parents are a control freak. What does that even mean? Kids without enough independence are more likely to rebel later on. Wait, what? Being one in three parents are a control freak? What the heck does that mean? A control freak. So they say no to everything? That's, that's what I'm gonna guess by the picture. One in five parents smack you. Have you guys ever got smacked before? I was about to, hmm. Am I even allowed to say what my punishments were? I'm not gonna expose my parents like that. One in eight parents force you to have a bad hair. What? They force you to have a bad haircut? Why would they force you to have a bad haircut? I'm so confused. Like, what do they get out of that? Don't you want your kid to like look fancy? Actually, no, now that I think about it, I feel like, I don't think my parents ever did this, but like other parents, like if I'm like waiting to get my haircut back in the day and parents are like, okay, I want you to do this haircut for him. And the kid's like, Oh, mom, I don't want a bowl cut. Yeah, it's gonna look nice on you, you know? So I, I kind of get that one. One in 16 parents giving you an iPad to be quiet. Okay, my my parents, okay, I feel like parents back in the day did not do this. But parents nowadays, hey, take this and be quiet, you know? Did you know that Gen Z has the lowest attention span at just 1.3 seconds? 1.3 seconds? If you guys are still watching this video, you guys, you guys are top tier. One in 20 parents send you to Sunday school. Does anyone like being stuck inside at weekends? Teens should choose their own path. Jeez, the person who made this video is like sticking up for the for the kids. What are 30 parents give too many Christmas presents? Spoiling kids just creates entitlement and unrealistic expectations. Then they go to school the next day and be like, look at this, look at my new iPad. I just got the new Xbox 364, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. And they post it on their Snapchat. Look what mother just gave me. They just gave me a new mouse. What are 38 parents ban you from meeting your friends? Now that I think about it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mom, dad, but like, it's, it's pretty like, like one in 38, that's pretty like common still. So I'm sure all your parents have done this to you before, but like, you can't go play with them until you do this. Or like, I'm taking away your phone or your iPod and you're not going to play with the neighbors, you know? So I got, I got it, I get it. One in 50, spy on your search history. Why am I search history? I don't think my parents ever did that. Did they? I guess we'll never know. Actually, I might know once I post this video, my mom will text me. And now because I said that, she will text me. So I'll update you guys in the comments if she did text me. And because I said that, she's gonna text for sure now. So stay tuned. Go to go down and look at the comments. But also while you're down there, smack the like button, please and thank you. And subscribe for more videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. One in 84 oh, parents force you to marry a stranger. It's rare in the West. But did you know 50% of marriages globally are arranged? What? 50% of the population? I don't know. I don't think that's real. I don't think that's real. Okay, well, I don't know. <laughs> one in a hundred parents call you fat? What? Pe parents do that? Huh? Aren't the parents the ones giving them food too? One in 130 parents spit in your face. What? Parents actually do this? A hundred, one in 130? What's even the percent on that? Let me see. 7.7%? Is that true? Did I do that percentage right? I don't even know. I don't think so. But um, interesting. Spitting in your face. Nice. Okay. One in 160 cancel Christmas. Well, isn't that, isn't like that sometimes like religious? Like not everybody celebrates Christmas. Or are they meaning like, you are such a bad kid this year. We're canceling Christmas. Is that what they mean? One in 220 parents driving 100 miles per hour with you in the car. Yep. Okay. Maybe they're just in a rush, right? Why else would they do that? Like, that, that, that can't be a punishment. Like for some kids, that might be kind of fun. Woohoo, we're going so fast. Um, one in 270 parents send you surfing with no swim lessons. What? It's a really dumb idea. 236,000 people drown globally every year. Like that's not a good parent. I mean, I guess this is bad parents. Like this video is about bad parents. But why would you send your kid into the water if they don't know how to swim? Like that just does not make no, it makes no sense. Driving a hundred miles per hour. I understand that. Like you're going, trying to get somewhere, but like, what's the point? Like sending your kid? I don't know. One to 450 parents get you to steal from the store. Okay, yeah, well, I see that. Like if the parents are thieves, they're going to make their kids thieves. One in 500 parents force you to join the army. I could see that. I feel like I've seen that in like movies and stuff, but shouldn't, shouldn't you think it's like, maybe you could like encourage them. Like shouldn't it be up to the kid? One in 650 parents delete social media. Oh, deleting your social media profile. Yes. I understand that. I don't really think that's a, a bad parent. Like I know lots of people who like don't like don't allow their kids 
means to have social media and that's like good well that's kind of ironic because i post social media videos for a living but i mean like young kids there's some stuff you know that like if you're like really really young that they should not be seeing parents by the way i am a family friendly youtuber no swears or anything like that so if you're overhearing this conversation with your kid don't worry you're you're, you're in good hands one in 800 parents gaslight you basically saying things like that never happened what are you talking about okay yeah my parents did that but at the same time it's like i feel like they just have bad memory you know <laughs> <laughs> One in a thousand parents. Oh, we're getting big numbers now. Kick you out on 18th birthday. I can see that. I can see that. It's like, okay, I did my duties. You're gone. And guys, I said I could see that. I didn't say, oh, yeah, I agree with that. I just said I could see people doing that. <laughs> One in 5,000 people, parents, playing all day hide and seek. Wait, what? Leaving you trapped in a closet all day is not idea. What? P parents just trapped their kids? I mean, my parents have trapped me in my bedroom, but that's when I was being a bad boy, and I deserved it. One in 7.5 thousand parents mock mocking you on parents' evening? What's parents' evening? Oh, like at the school. Like the parents are talking to the teachers, right? Publicly humiliating, you, humiliating you, uh, a child will damage their self-esteem for a long time. Did my parents do that? I feel like they did, but like jokingly. Oh yeah, Luke does this all the time. <laughs> you know? One in 9,000 spending your inheritance money. Isn't that like the money you get when a like family member died? Okay, so I, I understand. Maybe it's like a grandpa who passes away. He wanted somebody to go to you, but your parents like, uh-uh, that money's going to me. I get it. Okay, yeah, I can see parents doing that. One in 12,000 installing a tracking device. Okay, that's, I feel like more people do that. Air tech technology has made stalking scarily easy no matter who you are. I agree with that. Not agree with stalking, but I like, agree like it has made it way easier. But I feel like that's way more common. Like. My mom would always want to know like where I am. She still, my dad was joking. They were just here a couple days ago. And my dad was joking like, hey, we should, uh, I mean, this is kind of different, but we should like maybe uh, log into your cameras, like your house cameras so we can see what's going on. Like, obviously it's a joke. Well, it's a joke, but it's not a joke at the same time, dad. I know like, he wants to see what's happening in my driveway. Like when I go in and leave the house and stuff like that's just kind of, kind of creepy, dad. But yeah, when I lived with my parents and I would like go and do something or like go away for the weekend or something, my mom would always make sure, make sure you're like, find my iPhone is on. I want to see where you are and stuff. And I don't think that's a punishment. That's just good parents. One in 15,000 give you a fake phone. Imagine showing off your new iPhone 12 just for it to fall apart in your hand. Okay. Interesting. I don't really think that's a bad parent. They're just trying to save some money. What is 16,000 parents Munchausen syndrome? Huh? This is when a parent pretends their child has a fake illness, usually for attention. I watched a movie about this, I think, about something like that. And the daughter in the movie didn't even know that she was like perfectly fine. But her mom told her like, uh-uh, you can't walk and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, that, like that's, that's bad parenting. What if 25,000 parents put your bed in the garage? Your alarm clock, the exhaust driving in your face at 7 a.m.? Wait, parents? I feel like uh, this is all shocking to me. I've, like, some of these things I've never even heard of, like putting your bed in the garage. Like you're not sleeping in your bedroom. You're sleeping in the garage. Like people do that. One in 30,000 parents making you work for 16 hours a day. Even if you're desperate, you're desperate for money. You should never force your kid to work. Oh, I thought it was like you're making your kid work 16 hours, but you're paying them. But no, 16 hours and they get the money? Like you should never force your kid to work. That's what I'm assuming. It's like you're forcing them to work so you can get the money. Jeez, evil parents. One in 45,000 get, getting you to lie about dad in court? I feel like I've seen that in the movies. Are they just pulling these from movies? One in 60,000 leaving you in a car on a hot day. There's no specific law against this, but it could get hot enough to melt plastic in there. I see things on the news like of people leaving their kids in toddlers and stuff in the car and like that is very bad parenting but like do people like do that on purpose are they like oh it's not gonna get that hot you'll be fine in here but then it does get hot or are they like i'm just gonna i don't now that i think about that why would they do that like i'm just gonna leave you in here like just bring bring the kid inside or like leave the ac on that's what my mom would do she'd leave the keys in the car with me if i didn't want to go inside and i'd have the ac on and she'd tell me if it gets too hot in here make sure you get out you know but i also was like like i wasn't like a baby like i could do stuff myself you know <laughs> like if i was feeling hot even though i wasn't getting hot because she k gave me the keys locked the doors so i had ac but like if i did get too hot i just opened the door you know um but are they being locked in there i don't know One in eighty-five piece of Five thousand parents banning you from school? What kind of punishment is that? If anything, I think the punishment will be sending you to school. But no, banning you from school so you then you don't get an education, hard for you to get jobs. I don't know. What are the hundred thousand parents do this? Abandoning your child, you at a child shelter. Abandoning, like just dropping off, dropping you off the door, or what? Just don't have kids if you weren't planning on treating them with respect. One in a hundred eighty thousand parents do this. 
They steal your medicine. Why would they steal your medicine? About 3% of Americans misuse their... Oh, I see. They're meaning because, like, parent might have an addiction to medicine. One in 250,000 parents recruit you into a cult? What are we getting into? Since you depend on your parents for everything, this can be tough to escape. What kind of cults are we talking about? Like, this is like... I didn't know that was a thing. Recruiting you into a cult? I guess. One in 500,000 parents prison cell bedroom? Locks on the doors, bars on the windows, and 24-7 surveillance? I guess it's only one in 500,000 people. But that's still quite a few people. One in one million parents wake you up with cold. How is this less common than l locking you up in your bedroom or being recruited into a cult? Yes, this is obviously mean, but did you know that cold water boosts your immunity? I did. That's why people take ice baths. Um, I don't really think that's a punishment or a bad parenting. I mean, I guess it is bad parenting, like throwing water on your kid, but like, I don't like, I swear a lot of those other things were way worse. One in 1.5 million parents only give you dog food to eat. You know, that's a punishment. Giving you dog food. One in 3 million parents make you wear a shock, shock collar. What? Wow. This is cruel for a dog, but a child, they can shock you with up to 4,500 vol uh, volts, four fee five zero zero volts. Be five full foam. Um, have I ever? I don't even. I've never seen anyone with a shop collar on. That's that's interesting. One in five million people send you to the circus. What? Did you know that parents sold their kids for as little as two dollars in their great depression? Wait, what? They're talking about selling their kids to the circus? I thought they mean like they send you to a circus to like perform as a clown or something. But you mean like sell you? What the heck? I don't even know you could sell people to circuses. That I don't know. One in ten million throw knives at you and angry? You know that's that's. That's... Wait, the next one though. One in 25 million parents give you a tattoo in your sleep. That's so random. Why a tattoo? Huh? I don't get that one. And in your sleep, so they won't even feel anything. They just want to punish them by like drawing on them? Like, I don't get it. One in 100 million selling your kidneys? Parents force you to sell your kidneys? You only need one kidney to live and the other can be sold for two. You're telling me... Par one in a hundred million parents force their kids to sell their kidney so they could have more money? Interesting. One in 200 million run a kid fight club? Nursery workers in Missouri were tired of running a toddler fight club? Wait, what? How is this a punishment? It's a fight club. Wait, what? Is this even a punishment? Like, I, I was in a karate club. <laughs> what? Okay, now that's la this is the last one. Now, what the heck is this? One in 500 million parents torture chamber playroom? One couple did this to their 13 kids, 13 kids for decades, and now they're rotting in prison. Well, good, they better be in prison if they had a torture room for their kids. See, that makes no sense. Why even have 13 kids if, like, that? they were evil parents? But why does it say one in 500 million? Like, there's eight, 8 billion or 7 billion. Let's just go 7 billion. 7 billion. Gotta flip my phone sideways. Can't see this number. 7 billion divided by 500 million. Right? Is that how we do it? So 14. We got 14. Okay. Oh my gosh. I could have done that in my brain. I didn't realize how big of a number 500 million was. Okay. You're telling me 14. That's not that many people. That's still 14 people. But I was going to say, like, why have kids if you're going to, like, do this? But maybe people, some people are that evil. They're like, I want to have kids to torture them, you know? Like, anyway, that's great for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap that like button, subscribe for not already. Turn on post notifications so you never miss another episode Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.